What up everybody, Donut here, and we're back with another video. So, what we'll be talking about is what Infinity Ward can do to not have another disaster in IW, Infinity Warfare. Infinity Ward created Modern Warfare, MW2, MW3, and IW, and Ghost. In Ghost, the multiplayer, it was pretty good. You know, I liked it, just the multiplayer. Camping, I did not like that, that was terrible. And Extinction, we all know it was just a disaster, it was trash. They should have stuck to survival mode, which we will talk later. It was in the 3 <laughs> In IW, not many people wanted extra jumping, you know, nobody wanted that. I didn't want that. Oh, that. It's annoying. I want some boots on ground. <coughs> and also, nobody want a futuristic setting like this. Like Black Ops 2, that was alright, okay? There's also boots on ground. Treyarch. They did that pretty well. So, what Infinity Ward should do is that they should create Modern Warfare 4. In my opinion, this is what they should create, which they would extend the campaign with Captain Price again. I don't know. Like it's just two years after like MW3, or just like you know a couple years later. But yeah, but they extend the campaign. They have new enemies, like a new leader, like a Makarov, just somebody else, and have. Two other leaders that you have to go after and kill through this campaign that will lead you to the main leader, but it ends also ends on like a cliffhanger. And then the next Modern Warfare is where you should you know go after him. They should also have more factions than just four factions. Because I think they should have six factions, like two allies and another one where it's just fighting all because they're trying to defend their own homeland, their country, and their place. And also two enemies and another just defending off, like just fighting everybody else. So, yeah. Now, here we are talking about survival mode, which we all know was in MW3. I really liked it. Instead of zombies, they should not create zombies. They should do survival mode, obviously. Because I like it. It's pretty fun because I can call in like Delta Squad or Riot Shield Squad. Like up to four troopers each. Like you can have people who have like say if you're playing with another person, you can buy like a Riot Shield Squad or a Delta Squad. Both have them too, which both have eight people to help you defend off all of them the juggernauts, the helicopters, the dogs, and all that. So, yeah, and also you can like buy, buy your teammates, you know, buy them. Like, they're not, what am I talking about? Buy like attachments for your guns, perks. And, okay, so I really like that. I don't remember playing with a person on resistance and we'll be camping in the back. Or, like we're all over but we're not in the camp near the back. And we'll buy Marines at least every single time. Cause they were pretty useful. They were powerful too. Like Riot Shield is probably the better one. But I normally chose the Delta squad and they were a little cheaper. I don't remember. But yeah. And that was pretty good, you know. I really like that. Leave a comment below how you felt about survival mode. They also, they also just put in special modes again, or special ops, where you do random missions with like another person at an MW2. Which you all saw those two first missions I did, those were special ops. 
the first gameplay. Now we're doing slow campaign gameplay, just random gameplay. So if y'all want to see more MW2, leave a comment. So, yeah, that's what they should have done for like extended like, extension. That's what they should have done for the survival mode. Because I think uh, it's about a movie that did pretty well in Ghost, just in my opinion. I mean, Sierra I liked it a lot. Because, you know, I could Stand really buy a squadron, like, buy soldiers to help me out. It was something most games didn't do. And now, multiplayer. So, what they should do is what they did back in the original MW2 craziness like how crazy it was now much fun it was but also have the MW3 balance because MW3 is a pretty balanced game so but they should also add new guns and also new perks but also keep like old guns like that AK-47 the SCAR the MP5 the M16 the MA A1 not new guns, but they should have up to date movement, speed, and all that. Because you don't want just like some modern warfare, modern warfare remastered speed. Now that is just not not as good as it, not as good as Infinite Warfare's movement. A little slower. Um, if you rather have dolphin dive, I guess I'd rather have a sliding. So yeah. And, like, that's pretty much how they should do to create a COD. Because I really like MW. The Modern Warfare series, I like that a little more than the Black Ops series. But that's, I can talk about, about, talk about that in another video. Just leave a comment if you guys want to see a video like that. So, yeah. And, this survival mode. Still talking about it because I like it a lot. What they should do also is you can like have up to like six friends playing it instead of just four people, you know. And make some, you can also add, make some maps. They should also make some maps that are big, wide, small, so like the multiplayer and this. And one thing that most cards don't do anymore is. They make random maps, okay? Just random maps that have nothing to do with the game. And what they used to do is make some maps out of the campaign. And like they did with Terminal and no rushing level in MW2. Because, you know, they made a map out of that. That's what they should do. Because, you know, in some games, I forget what. There's like one campaign level that would have liked to see in the multiplayer. So yeah, that's what they should do also. This in instead of four people for like the Delta Squad and Riot Shield Squad, it should at least be six. You know, Josh, it should be able to tall in the tank. You know, because it gets harder over the waves. The waves should get harder too. Like they. Add the BTRs from like MW2 and MW3, like we just saw in the beginning of this level. So yeah, it's really what they should do, make it MW4, because I would like to see that. I would definitely like to see the campaign, see a new character with Captain Price. Obviously, so died in MW3. And they had Yuri, I think it's, I forget. So yeah. Have the Marines again and all them. Have all that. And yeah, I really got nothing else to say, but I'm going to try to think. They also should put in, you know, Like bigger maps, they should put in like bigger maps. Like this, see how big wide an area this is. They should actually have a map where it's like defending 
like a game mode actually, where you defend. Not like SMD, but it's more like actually defending an area. Can't let the enemy team get past you. You have like two lives for this round. And it saves the team. They get past like a whole wall or defense. They get in and kill all of you. You only got like two lives while they got eliminated because they're attacking and you don't have that much supplies. So yeah. Like a game mode like that. It's like D Day sort of. But not D Day, just on other maps. Then it will work. Work on. Because that would be pretty cool. It's like invasion from Halo. But just. You're actually defending your sites, your area. And you're getting attacked by the enemy. So yeah. Yeah, they saw that new attachments, like I said. And that's just the same old attachments. Some new score streaks, too. Like, they should add Delta Squad to multiplayer. Be able to call them some squad mates to help follow you around. So when you have them bad teammates, like, say if you're on SD and you got a squad mate, and your team's just so bad. I'm not playing the objective, say if you have the bomb, you're planting the bomb, you're defending, your teammates on the other side of the map are just, they're all dead. So you can call on your squad mates, and it's like game, round 11, on SD, so you call them in, you're in like a 1v4, now you're like, a, now it's a 5v4. So now it's a little more even, and they're pretty tough to kill too, not tough tough, like, just normal. But, and they also, they, they probably have, will probably be a little cheat codes since they'll probably be able to find the enemy a little quicker, but they have to balance that out, you know. I don't know how they would do that, but they will. Or if they ever make MW, MW4. Besides, they got two years to make a game. Hopefully in like, futuristic or COD, Call of Duty Ghost 2. I don't want to see Ghost 2. Because we all know how Ghost 1 went, or the first Ghost. It wasn't that bad of a game, it was just only have one thing multiplayer. That's really it. You wanted to see a good campaign, you wanted to see a good side game mode, like special ops, zombies, and all that. But now they're gonna have survival mode and special ops. So, yeah, what they should do also for special ops is putting game modes for, or like take missions off the campaign. And let them survive in that, like do that special ops. So yeah, so hopefully they do that. Hopefully they make Modern Warfare 4, or they're just not gonna get much. They're just gonna be terrible. So yeah. And sorry, I haven't uploaded in like two weeks. Just didn't feel like it. So yeah. But now I made a nice, good video took my time out, did this. Also, I've been playing a lot of IW, because I've been watching MLG COD, you know that Optic fan over here, OG. Just watched Group Green yesterday, day one. Yeah, we did that. We did that, bro. Optic 2-0. So, yeah. Hopefully, by the time this video goes up, they'll be playing again. But, so yeah. Leave you guys, please what you guys think in the comments. And if y'all want to see more NW2 gameplay, leave in the comment that you want to see it more. And what the heck? I was playing the campaign just for this. And this dude just blew himself up in another team Nate. I was like, we're uh... So yeah. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this video. And leave what you think, what they should add to, also what they should add to this. And if you agree with me, just leave a like, leave a comment, whatever. Talk. I'll, I'll probably reply. I'm more than likely actually reply to y'all. So, yeah. I had pretty fun making this video. Been thinking about it for the past day. This past day. So, yeah. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And make sure that there's not another Call of Duty Ghost or no futuristic, just a modern setting. So, hope you all enjoyed this video. And I'll see y'all next time. Donut out! Good job. Now.